So in case anybody wanted an update... <laughs> I just put these in here yesterday, I don't know if they have any eggs on them yet, but... I'm gonna see there. Focus. There we go. You can kind of see the zigs in there. So, there's a bunch on that. These guys are breeding really, really well in here for me. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of flies. Um, but I just don't. I never really see any uh, breeding. I don't know. But they're obviously doing it. Because, <laughs> you know, babies. Alright, so I'm going to pause this a second, I'm going to go out to the main bin and show you guys what's going on out there. So, hold on one second. Okay, so out in the main bin here. See, it's pretty soupy right now. They are kind of everywhere. The uh, the one problem that I found with the... Let's see, I'm going to hook here. Um, one issue I found with having a lot of fruits and stuff like that is that things get very slushy. So that does create a lot of moisture on the side of the container and then they're able to climb up. So I have uh, areas where they're kind of getting out of a little bit here and there. But most of them are kind of chilling on the top here so they don't drown themselves in the muck. But they're... Yeah, it's pretty deep still. Good number of flies and maggots and everything like that. And the uh, one thing I think is kind of neat is this little piece of cardboard I put here is just completely egg laden. So they're working everywhere now, not just in the. Uh, the actual fly house, but they're working pretty much anywhere that they can lay eggs at this point, because there's a bunch that have gotten out here and stuff, and they're all just kind of floating about. Mm, no big deal. Most of them stay over there by the lake anyway. So, just want to give you guys an update and show you what's going on. Alright, uh, we'll see you all later.